Well, welcome to Beans, Brews and Bread for June 2023. Back from the holidays, it's not rained for 23 days in Manchester. I'm doing this in the middle of a thunderstorm. That's the thunder, might be some lightning. Let's go and have a look, see how the plot's been doing. Have a look. So if you'll uh, forgive the slightly ominous sound of rumbling uh, thunder and any lightning, um, this is the uh, plot tour for June uh, 2023. Um, I've been away on a week's holiday to Spain, Costa Dorada, and uh, came back on the flight yesterday, came off the plane at Manchester, and the temperature was as hot as it had been when we left, 29 degrees. Not rained here for 23 days in Manchester, which is practically unheard of. So the uh, plot has had a bit of a watering from uh, Grandad Bernard, who's been down and uh, given it a water as much as he can, but uh, it really needs a good proper downpour. So we might um, have a uh, shower uh, and uh, heaven's opening uh, while we're doing the tour. So I'll take you around now, go and see what we've got. The peas look quite good. Um, broad beans, they're starting to uh, fill up nicely. Uh, but things have just been held back so much by the lack of water. You really just need that downpour just to get the ground saturated and get the uh, plants uh, a good boost of uh, necessary watering that they need. But it's just been so difficult to keep on top of the watering before then. 23 days of uh, nothing at all, it's been a real challenge. So I'm going to show you what uh, the plot looks like, warts and all. Not uh, weeding anything, we're still a bit of a tidy up around the front of the shed area where the polytunnel was and there's still a bit of clearing to do uh, where the uh, parsnips were still in two minds what to do about that bubble going around the tour now we'll go and see how things are looking so first off in the uh, pea bed you'll see the um, peas here have struggled i think these are champion pea of england Again, there's been no rain. They're so stunted. I really don't think these have made much headway since the last time we um, videoed them. Again, you can just see they're only just really starting. You have to excuse the thunder and lightning if uh, we go along. But on the more positive side, the reserved peas from last year from the Heritage Project have um, done brilliantly. We've got this Monge 2 variety here, which I think is the um, P. Freud Heinrich, which they do say is a Monge 2 type. So you can see here, you can see here the Monge 2. Great loads of them, which are looking great. These are looking quite impressive. See what they taste like. So we've got the uh, P. Freud Heinrich, really nice, juicy, surprise harvest. Won't make its way back to the table, obviously, but quick snack at the allotment. These are great. So, P. Freud Heinrich, really good. We'll get a few left over again this year. I'll plant them again next year. On the other side, I think those are the Freuer Heinrich, I think that might be the uh, rain front coming in. So here's a quick, super fast tour. What is quite interesting is just looking at the peas as we've just gone through on the tour is to what they looked like at this stage last year. So if you go and watch the video for the June plot tour for 22, um, bookmark the uh, video here. And uh, I'll put a link up above, and if you try and select that for watch next, um, go and have a look and see what the plot looked like this time last year. It's absolute miles different compared to what it is this year based on the weather. So go and have a look at that video and uh, see what the plot looked like this time last year. I hope you've liked what you've seen so far on the tour. If you have, I'd be really grateful if you give the video a thumbs up. Um, it's one of the best ways of getting the uh, algorithm to share the video uh, to other people who like sort of gardening content or home brewing or uh, bread making 
so if you give the video a thumbs up, I'd be really grateful. If you do, I can guarantee that you'll get 25% more water in your thundery week next week, guaranteed. So give it a thumbs up. That's, I think, the blow shocker. There's the blow shocker. That's done a lot better. That's the podding pea. The blow shocker. We'll get those in. Oh, nice. I would never have thought I'd have welcomed the idea of doing a tour in the rain quite this much, but there you go. Now, this road and beetroot here has massively improved. We've got actually quite a few nice ones coming up with a nice space between them as well. That's that. You can hear everybody running outside to get the rain. Now here, the garlic, I'm going to probably chalk this down to a bit of a failure this year. This was the second lot we put in and I'm not convinced that that was a great idea because it's definitely in the same spot where there was um, white rot last year. Um, now some of these are okay but not all of them. Uh, some of the onions are doing okay, some of them are starting to bolt, these were from sets. Hopefully you can't get too drenched here during a thunderstorm. Uh, but yeah, this is the majority of the Germidor garlic and it's all got white rot. I have pulled a few out. Uh, even I think the elephant garlic might be affected a little bit. Although some of the ones further down here don't look as bad, but we'll let those Flower heads develop on the elephant garlic. New potatoes, on the other hand, are again suffering from the lack of water, but we should get a good water in tonight. Indeed, I'm getting a good water in. There you go. That's the new potatoes again. Coming to some of the dry conditions we've had, but fingers crossed, a bit of water should do them well. <laughs> You've then got the broad beans. We've got these in two succession sowings. The first one's only from spring, not overwintered. And the next lot after that, we're done about a month or so afterwards. So we'll get two harvests. <laughs> uh, getting rainy now. The beetroot section here is doing pretty well. Can you tell we're in a thunderstorm? Yeah. Thankfully the iPhone uh, is uh, waterproof now. So that's the beetroot. Oh, it's nice to feel the rain. And this was carrots, but I'm gonna have to weed that again and give them another sowing. Lastly, oh no, second to last, parsnips. Some have germinated. I'm gonna give them a weed. Get rid of these uh, bolted radishes and we'll get them, I think, re sown if we can. I have got a few in uh, toilet rolls. I've got a few in toilet rolls in the house. And then here, brassica cage. Not doing too bad. Just about to see inside. It does need a weed, but there is some pretty good looking brassicas in there get some space made for some winter cabbages soon enough. Last of all, tomatoes are in the Florida weave configuration. I'm going to get the twine up and ready for them soon. Bench beans, gigantas, they're doing pretty good too. And we'll uh, hope that they carry on through this weather. They certainly need the water. So, from a uh, very wet lane head plot, that's the June tour completed. 23 days of rain plus days finished. You might want to look at this time last year's video. Come on, it's worth it. If I want to put up with this, definitely worth a check. So watch the video and we'll see you next time. Ta-ra!